Hi and welcome to Casual DIY channel. In today's episode we'll be unboxing and reviewing this bad boy. It's a table saw from Evolution Rage 5S. Let's get to it. So I just want to mention that this saw was provided to me by the Evolution Power Tools UK. Um, obligation free, so all the reviews, all the thoughts on this saw will actually be my own. There is no script, they've not asked me to say anything really. So I hope you're actually going to enjoy this video and the future videos I'm planning for this saw as well. So, as always, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any content. But let's get back to it. In the small box we've got our bits and pieces, some wheels, obviously the, uh, the mite a bit. Some nuts and bolts. We even got the hose for the extraction system. Instructions. Oh look, a push stick. Right then, so quick recap of what you're actually getting, what's in the box. So as you can see, we've got the hose for the dust extraction, the sliding miter with an interesting clamp that will actually hold your wood in place, a push stick, instructions, blade cover, wheels for the base, and some usual nuts and bolts. The saw also comes with a fully foldable base. Um, it's easy for storage and it helps you to move the saw around your workshop. And as you can see, we're also getting an absolutely brilliant fence to go with it. Right, and so we've explored the content of the box. Now it's time to put this bad boy together. So before we start assembly, you're gonna need a couple of tools. The first one is a cross-headed screwdriver, five millimeter Allen key, and some spanners, eight, 10, and 13. And the last one is a mallet. So the first thing we need to do, we need to invert the whole saw upside down. Just make sure if you're gonna be putting on your workbench or anything flat, just make sure to put something underneath so you actually don't scratch your table. So the first two pieces we're actually gonna be fitting is this bar with a bent end. Now we will be attaching the end caps. You've got one straight, one which is a bit oval. The oval cap goes on the end of the part that's on the, an angle, and that's where we're gonna need our mallet. And the straight cap goes on the other end. Next we'll be attaching these two components together. For the next part we'll be attaching these components, so the one that we just assembled and the one with the pin here to uh, stop on the latch there. So we need to make sure that this bar is in front of this one with the pin um, stopping at the latch there. We are using the largest bolts with a space in between.
and on the same component we just need to install the cap ends Time to attach the remaining two parts. And the remaining two caps go on now. And now fitting the last piece of this puzzle And there you go, fully working base for the saw. Awesome. And now it's time to attach the wheels. So as you can see, we have managed to assemble the base for the saw. And I have to say, it's not definitely one of the easiest things to do. So if you've got somebody to help you out with it, would be definitely a good idea. But all in all, I'm quite surprised how steady it is, uh, you know, just saying it is on wheels and it is a movable base, movable saw that you can fold over and just stash away in the corner of your workshop. So it's definitely steady enough to, uh, to use it as a table saw um, and still being safe at doing so. So I've still got a couple of things to attach to this saw and we're going to be ready for testing. One of the features I really enjoy about this saw is actually the fence. It attaches to the front and to the back as well, which ensures that the fence is very stable when working. So the rip fence actually comes with a rip fence faceplate as well, which we're going to attach now. The fence can be secured on the table saw using the lever at the front of it. And as you can see, this is rock solid. Next thing we're going to be attaching is the blade guard. There's also a nice feature to the side of your saw uh, where you can attach your dust extraction hose. And the very last thing we've got to install is the mitre gauge. You can adjust the fence on it by undoing these two knobs. The mitre gauge also comes with a very handy clamp. And also, let's not forget about the push stick that goes on the side of the machine. So as the saw is now fully assembled, I will show you a couple of really awesome features this saw actually has got, especially considering this is only a budget saw. So the first thing we're going to be talking here guys is actually the table itself. At this basic setting, uh, the wideness of this table is 74 and a half centimeters. Now you can expand that from both sides. 
The left side expands by undoing two knobs that are located underneath the table from uh, front and from back. Whereas on the right hand side there's a clever lever located underneath the table. And that gives you a total of 121 centimeters. That's absolutely huge. You can quite easily rip a whole sheet of good material and you know you won't struggle at all. And the fence actually attaches right to the end of the right wing. One thing I have to mention at this point, when the right wing is fully expanded in my version of the saw, there is a bit of a play probably about one millimeter, maybe 1.5 millimeter, not more than that. What adjustment have we got to the saw? Obviously this lever here will um, get the blade up and down. Very nice and smooth operation. Now, beyond that you've got the lever that will actually unlock the um, angles that you can cut on this saw. And obviously you can go right up to 45 degrees. So you'll just unlock this lever push this wheel um, towards the machine and you can set up any angles you want but the biggest winner in this saw one of the features that I think is absolutely amazing on a budget saw if you actually can't find it and even the more expensive saws is this sliding carriage um, it's, this is absolutely brilliant feature it allows you to cut your mitres or anything else really accurately with you know your hands will be nowhere near the blade you don't have to even use the rip fence you can use it for guidance but you don't even have to use that you just set up your sliding carriage with whatever piece of wood you want to cut through and off you go i'll show you how it works what you're going to need is actually your mitre gauge slide it back in And as you can see, there's a knob here and hole here. What you do, you align that with the screw it in. That's firmly attached to the sliding carriage. And now what you do underneath the table, there's a lever that you need to pull down. and that releases the carriage so you can see for a budget saw it's really full of amazing features that even the more expensive saws don't have for example the base actually folds and you can just transport it wherever you want let me show you And as I mentioned before, the saw is absolutely dead stable on this base. So let's discuss how accurate it is. Right, the first thing we're going to check is actually the table. Is it straight? Well, let's have a look. Well, I have to say the tabletop is straight, which is always good. And um, my spirit level is um, absolutely bob on. There's no play, no wobble, no nothing. And there's definitely no gaps either. So now let's check the blade. So this is out of the box. I've actually not tuned it, not done anything with it. So let's see how straight the blade actually is. Well, that's absolutely perfect. Let's check the other side. And that's absolutely perfect as well. So far so good then guys, to be absolutely honest with you, I was expecting that some tuning would be necessary, but by the looks of things, um, everything's fine. 
you can also adjust your fence uh, if the fence is not square to your blade there's uh, two bolts here that you can release and then adjust the, the fence itself making sure you're actually cutting straight but it's time now to actually check out if this saw actually works because I've not turned it on yet uh, to see if the engine is actually running on it uh, but before we actually go to that stage I just want to say uh, this video will not um, show much of testing of this saw i.e. cutting for different types of woods and checking how square or accurate it is for that we'll have another video coming out next week where I will be comparing this Rage 5 Evolution saw that's a budget saw to my super budget saw that I had for a couple of years now from Ainhell so we'll be able to see how they compare the pros and cons and obviously the price tags you will also gonna get a good picture of what you're getting for your money uh, basically you know the features on this saw they look very impressive and I'm really keen to be using them um, and you have to consider do the more expensive saws are they better do they have the same features but let's try it out let's see if it actually works for the purpose of demonstration I actually took the blade guard off I don't recommend anybody doing that and it's a safety feature that uh, you should absolutely use all the time So as you can see, very nice and clean cut. Just one more thing I actually forgot to mention, with the mitre gauge you do get a little bit of a play when it's not attached to the carriage. But the minute you actually attach it to the carriage, uh, there's no play whatsoever. So I hope you enjoyed this video, we've went through the whole assembly of this saw and obviously went through all the features as well and as you can see this is very very um, good saw with a wide spectrum of absolutely awesome features that some of the more expensive ones don't actually have as I mentioned before the testing of this saw will actually come up on the next video when we're going to be comparing to the super budget saw I already got, the Ain Hell. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this content please consider subscribing to my channel and hopefully I will see you next week when we're going to be testing this bad boy out. Till then, take care.